Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on the percent equation. And that percent equation is our part equals our percent multiplied by our whole. In other words, our is equals our percent as a decimal multiplied by the of. And so as we go through these questions, we want to identify what is our part, what is our percent, and what is our whole. We'll be given two of these three, and we need to solve for the third. And so what are we given in our question? What is 6%? Well, we're given our percentage, and we're given of 200. The of 200 is going to be our whole. What are we looking for? What is? Well, the what is is our part, and so our part is going to be our variable x that we do not know. Our percentage is 6%, but we do need to write this as a decimal, and so we move our decimal point back one 2 times to the right, which is going to result in 0 0.06. Our whole then is 200. So as we make our substitution into the percent equation, our part we do not know. That is our x. And that is going to equal our percentage as a decimal, 0 0.06 multiplied by our whole, which in this question is 200. And now I just need to multiply. x is going to equal the 6 hundredths times 200, which is 12. So 12 is 6% of 200. In example B, we need to find 72% of 50. Well, we need to identify our part our percent, and our whole. Now, we're given this 72%, so that's going to be our percentage. And the of is our whole. And, well, we're not exactly given the is, but find is going to be our part. We don't know what we're looking for in the part, so our part is our x. Our 72% is our percentage. And as a decimal, slide it back twice to the left, 0.72, and our whole is 50. And so now as I go to substitute these numbers in, our part, we do not know, so that's our x, equals our percentage, 0.72, multiplied by our whole of 50. And so now x is going to equal the 72 hundredths times 50, which is 36. So 36 is 72% of 50. In example C, what is 14% of 150? Well, we're once again looking for our part, our percentage, and our whole. Well, what is? We don't know. That's our variable for x. 14%. That's our percentage. Written as a decimal. Move that decimal point two spots to the left to get decimal point 0.14. Of 150 is going to be our whole. So now as we go to solve this, our part, x, is going to equal our percentage as a decimal, 0.14, or 14 hundredths, times our whole of 150. Once I multiply 14 hundredths by 150, I get the result of 21. So 21 is 14% of 150. 
In example D, find 50% of 70. So we need to identify once again what our part is, what our percent is, and what our whole is, so we know what to substitute into our equation. Well, find 50%, that's our percentage, so 50%, but as a decimal, slide that back twice to the left, is going to be equal to 0 0.50, or even just 0.5. Of 70, well, there is our whole, so our whole is going to be 70, which means we're looking to find our part. Well, as we substitute these in, our part, x, equals our percentage as a decimal. We'll just put in the 0.5, which is 5 tenths, multiplied by our whole of 70. And so as I multiply 5 tenths times 70, I get a part, an answer of 35. So 35 is 50% of 70. So far, we've only found the parts. What if we need to find the percent or the whole? Well, we'll start the same way. What percent of 40 is 90? We need to identify our part. We need to identify our percent. And we need to identify our whole. Well, what percent? That's what I'm looking for here. So the percentage is going to actually be the variable now. Of 40, of 40, 40 is my whole, is 9, 9 is my part. And so now as I substitute these in, make sure they go into the right spot. My part is 9, so 9 is going to equal my percentage. Well, that's my variable, that's what I'm looking for, x times my whole of 40. And so now I have a one-step equation I need to solve. I need to solve for my variable x. Well, it's x times 40 right now, and the opposite of multiplication is division. So I need to divide by 40 on the right and by 40 on the left sides of this equation here. It cancels out on the right side, and 9 divided by 40 on the left side is 0.22 5 equals x. Now, this is a percentage, or we need to make it a percentage. And so if we move the decimal two spots to the right, we're going to have a final answer of 22.5%, since we're looking for what percent? So 22.5% of 40 is 9. Another way of asking to look for the percent is, 27 is what percent of 150? Well, we need to identify what's our part, what's our percent, and what's our whole. Well, 27 is, is our part. What percent? I don't know. That's what I'm looking for. That's going to be my variable x of 150, that is my whole. And so as I go to substitute these numbers in, 27 is my part, equals my percentage, x, that's what I'm looking for, times my whole of 150. And so once again, I have the one-step equation, 27 equals x times 150, I need to divide by the 150 on both the right and left sides of the equation. So the 150 can cancel out on the right side. And 27 divided by 150 is equal to decimal point 1.8 equals x. And if I move this decimal point now once, twice to the right, I can get a final answer of 18%. So, 27 is 18% of 150. So far, we have solved for the part, we have solved for the percent, in our last two examples, we're going to solve for the 
whole. But the neat thing is about the percent equation, we can still just set up what is my part, what is my percent, and what is my whole. Again, each of these questions you'll be given two of the three. You just need to solve for the missing one. So 39 is, is going to be my part, 84% is my percentage, and as you continue doing these, do not forget to write your percent as a decimal. Move your decimal point two spots to the left to get 0.84. And of what number, that's what I'm looking for, that's my whole, x. And so as I substitute these values into the equation, my part is 39 equals my percentage as a decimal, decimal point eight four multiplied by my whole, which is x. And so once again, I do have a one-step equation, 39 equals 84 hundredths times x. I want to solve to get my x alone, so I need to divide by the 84 hundredths on both the right side and the left side of my equation. We cancel out on the right side. So as I divide 39 divided by 84 hundredths, my result is 46 decimal point 4, 2, and we'll say 9 equals the x. Well, we can round, and if we just round to the, say, nearest tenth here, the 2 is not going to round the 4 up. So 46 and 4 tenths equals x and that is my whole here. So 39 is 84% of 46 and 4 tenths. And now in our last example, 26% of what number is 45? We're still looking to find our part out of this, we need to find our percent out of this, and we need to find our whole. Well, 26% is my percentage, so 26%, don't forget to rewrite it as a decimal, 0.26, then of what number, that's what I'm looking for, my whole is a variable, x, is 45, that's my part, 45. And so once you have those three things set up, we substitute in our part, 45, is going to equal our percentage, 0.26, multiplied by our whole of x. And to solve the equation, divide by the 26 hundredths on both sides, cancels out on the right side, and 45 divided by 26 hundredths is 173 point zero seven, we'll say six, equals x. And if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, one to the right, the seven is going to round the zero up. So 173 and one tenth is equal to x, which is my whole. So 26% of 173 and one tenth is 45. And that is it for this lesson on the percent equation. Good luck.